Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Footies hasn't started off so great, right? But EA finally dropped an SBC that was long overdue, and it gives us hope of some better SBCs in the future of this promo. Guys, we've got fodder moving. We've got EA mistakes once again, compensation incoming for certain people, and we have an interesting day of Sunday content ahead with an investment that I think a lot of us need to be making right now in this game. We're going to talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, let's round up yesterday's content with the SBCs and all the content that we had, starting off with a really big one. Our first footies hero, Tim Cahill. It kind of feels like EA picked one of the worst heroes to start off uh, the footies hero uh, SBC or footies hero campaign with, right? Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, high medium right-footed. He can play a lot of positions, striker or in the midfield, which is really, really nice. And honestly, this is exactly like a card of old where you could move a striker all the way back down into the midfield with the old way the position change system worked. But 99 reactions, heading, jumping, aggression. This card's probably feels pretty good in game. I remember the Tim Cahill, what was it like, foot captain's card last year in FIFA 22 that was pretty solid. The price here for the links, of course, it is a Premier League hero, so that helps out his links a lot, and it probably contributes to his price being a little bit expensive. 65% of both, 238,000 coins. It's not that hard of an SBC to do, though. Only two squads. This one, for me, I just see the potential of better heroes dropped. Again, I, again, I said it, I feel like EA really started at the bottom with this Tim K. Hill, right? Think about the most popular heroes in the game. We're assuming that since there's cards in packs now, guys like Ginola, you know, maybe in packs, but hopefully that, you know, an SBC for Rudy Voller or Forlan, Cordoba, even, even Alo Weyron, could there be an SBC for one of those guys in the future? Maybe, right? That's what gives me a little bit of hope with that SBC for Tim Cahill dropping yesterday on this game. Am I going to be doing that one? Probably not, unless I have a lot of extra fodder to craft it. But if you do ha find yourself in that situation, it's not too bad of an SBC to craft. We need that to continue, though. GG's EA, keep it up. Now, the bigger story from yesterday was the SBC that was long overdue that we finally got, and that was an 90 plus icon player pig that didn't include prime icons. Finally, the prime icons have been removed from our icon upgrade pack SBC. The only problem is now EA messed it up, guys. This SBC is not available in game. Don't try to go look for it, or if you're confused why you can't find it, that's because they removed it. They removed it. This is the news. This is the tweet they put out a few hours after the SBC was released. The 90 plus icon player pick incorrectly contained hero player items. I saw a lot of people tweeting me with like four lawns um, and other trophy tie-ins and the random heroes that were included in that icon player pick. So they removed the SBC. It's going to return later. We'll see what later actually means. But they also said impacted players will be sent corrected rewards in game in the coming weeks. We know that does not mean days. We know that means weeks, right? So basically what that sounds like to me is if you did the 90 plus icon player pick SBC before the time that they took it away, which was about four hours after content, and you had a hero card in the player pick, guys, I think you're going to have to have a hero card in the player pick to actually get some compensation. Um, then you're going to be getting something in the future. Now, if you just got all icons in the player pick, EA would argue that uh, your icon player pick was not affected by the glitch or the mistake, and therefore you will not be getting compensation. But of course, we all know it would impact the weight for sure with heroes being a part of it. So it is what it is, but that's just kind of the way that EA do compensation. So if you did the SBC, before it was taken out and GG's you'll be able to get compensation now when this SBC comes back there's still a good bit of hype for it because shapeshifter icons were the icons that were included in the player pick instead of the primes right that's an upgrade they include the shapeshifters and they take away the primes that is a big W I think the price here is really good too 170,000 coins three squads to complete but they're kind of lower rated ones 84 86 and 87 and this made fodder move now with the SBC going away fodder's kind of come back down and we're going to talk about that remember 88 yesterday were like 11,000 coins we were like guys that's a pretty low price right 11k for 88 they went all the way to 15,000 coins SBC has gone away and well they're back down to about 12,000 coins uh, with only the Tim Cahill kind of bringing that SBC demand out right now and that 90 plus of course being 
gone. So we're going to talk about fodder a little bit more, but GG's if you did the SBC right away. Uh, again, I really feel like you're only going to get compensated if you got a hero in your player pick, and if you did, then I guess you're just going to be able to double dip uh, off of that one. That's just kind of crazy how the compensation goes. A little bit unfair, you could say, but again, I like that EA's finally releasing a 90 plus icon pack that does not include primes. Thank you, EA Sports. Shapeshifter icons aren't even that old, so the fact that they put those in already is nice, and that is something that we like about what they have done with content, right? That's a step in the right direction after what we had was a pretty uh, abysmal Friday of footies content. So, also yesterday on Saturday, we had some store packs added. The 250 gold rare players pack, which you can open two of, is only 400k. I thought it might have been 500,000 coins, but again, you look at the percentages here, guys. Yeah, you've got a lot of crazy percentages. 96% of the Centurions, 94 of the Winter Wild Cards, only 5% for a footies player or a premium footies player. And we're going to be honest, for that footies premium player, it's probably Jetson Fernandez. And for the regular footies, it's probably been Acer, guys. The pack weight for the actual footies cards, a.k.a. Ronaldo, Di Maria, Julian Alvarez, and Joe Gomez is very, very low. I mean, I want to take you guys through a little bit of a price graph. Just look right here. Look at these guys' prices. Joe Gomez is literally still a million coins and this is day two of the promo normal promo days what you see is a graph that goes down like 10 20 percent joe gomez went from 1.1 mil down to 900 and is back up to a million coins like this is such a small drop off for what we usually see for promo cards these guys are super crazy rare and of course Obviously, Ronaldo is still not even on the market at 15 million coins. Definitely still the worst part about footies, the fact that these cards are in packs. At least they're holding their prices pretty well. Will they continue to do that? I doubt it. I think they will drop off at some point um, as they get more supplied throughout the weekend and stuff like that. But these guys seem really, really rare, especially the Di Maria and the Julian Alvarez as well. Still 2.1 million coins and 2.6 for Di Maria. Crazy, crazy prices for how rare these cards are. Just be careful if you still own them right now. I don't think those prices are going to last. But guys, I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've checked some of these uh, footies player prices that are in packs. I, I'll say this honestly. I don't think I've ever cared less about the cards in packs uh, than I do right now, to be completely honest. It feels like they're going to be so difficult to pack. Of course, evident by their prices barely moving. If you have the coins and want to go try them out, it's great. But they're so expensive, guys. And of course, we would have loved to have all these cards in SBCs like the footies promo has always been. But the rest of the market, on the other hand, just keeps going up. You got level up cards that are rising. You've got shapeshifters that are still very high in price. I think Mares is like 900,000 coins. We remember we were looking at him on Friday and he was around, um, he's 909, a little bit of an undercut there from the next cheapest that I guess there's a 910. But um, he was like 700 and what, 750K, 700,000 coins flat. Um, Anthony Martial still up in price, the young. A lot of your shapeshifters, even though they're technically getting supply this weekend through weekend league rewards tradable not very many of them but a few of them they're still maintaining higher prices same thing with your tots cards uh where's musiala right that's kind of a guy we've been looking at recently 500k remember he was 400 000 coins on friday pre-content so the market still is doing very very well because really what is there to bring the market down that much right now not that much especially with the sbc that was really bringing hype to content yesterday pulled away from the game because uh, it was, you know, glitched and it was an EA mistake. But at least there's a lot of gameplay demand right now. If you're still doing level up objectives, you're playing foot champs, uh, the Goosens card, you got the uh, the cup, of course, that gives you some decent rewards and for XP. So there's at least a little bit to grind in this game right now. It's probably going to get a little bit better today. And I'm going to talk about Sunday content at length today, guys. We're going to talk about it for a bit because there's a lot going on today and a lot of things that maybe you may have not figured were going to happen today could be dropping on this game today. First thing, of course, is are we going to get another footies player? Whether it's a hero, whether it's just a premium footies card, I hope we're actually getting daily SBCs. I find nothing in the menus right now that says daily SBCs are incoming. And right now, I mean, two days in a row, player SBC. So our thought process is maybe they're going to be doing that. There might be a day in this coming week where they don't drop a player SBC or two. But guys, it also looks like it might be a true surprise. There were no leaks, at least that I saw yesterday, for a Cahill SBC. And uh, if there's a surprise factor here, that's fine by me. So hopefully we get a player SBC today. The leaks do seem to be pretty quiet on these cards. Now, we do have one leak, and that is for an Icon SBC. Maldini Foot Birthday, one of the best center backs in the game. 
Um, he's coming as an SBC soon, according to FIFA Romania on Twitter. And uh, I don't know when this SBC would be, guys. It could be today. It might be our Sunday SBC. It used to be back in the day that Icon Player SBCs were like always on Sundays. Uh, but it seems really random um, this year when they've been dropping them. Of course, last year was it Wednesday where we had the foot birthday Jarzinho and the week before that on a Wednesday, I think we had the Vieira. So maybe this isn't coming out until later in the week, but that is an SBC that is incoming. If you don't have this card and you would really, really be interested in getting him, that looks like a card that is going to be coming soon. And he's about what? 1.5 mil? I'm sure he's dropped. 1.6 mil. I'm sure after that leak yesterday, he started to dip down at least a little bit in price. Uh, yeah, he was 1.9 and uh, went all the way down to 1.6, 1.7 where he is now. So that's not surprising. So watch out for that one. Could be today. But that's not the content that I'm uh, excited about, guys. I'm excited about one of the best player picks that we have, especially for the value. Refreshing today. Um, the 93 plus tots or shapeshifters player pick. And this is where it gets into an investment guys that I think we can make not only for today, but going forward through this next week. There's a lot of SBCs that are out player SBCs. We've got an icon pack icon pick that 90 plus that's at some point going to come back and bring some more fodder demand back to this market. But this SBC specifically, it refreshes today. Everybody wants to do this one. It's, it's exciting. It's fun to do. You can pack some of the best tots and shapeshifter cards out of it. I hear a lot of people getting really good stuff every single time. So if you're interested in making coins or doing this SBC or any of the other SBCs this week, I think it's a really great time to club stock or invest in fodder guys. And here's why, right? On the weekends, we've got weekend league rewards, tradable packs, putting these cards out, supplying them on the market. And after, you know, Monday morning when weekend league rewards are given out, that supply really, really starts to slow it down. A lot of the packs in the store that we look at and we open are untradeable, right? Of course, you've got the rewards on the weekend, pushing all that tradable supply in. You've got a little bit of squad battles supply that might hit the market this morning as well on Sunday. The supply should be kind of drying up over the next day on this game. And if we get this SBC refreshing today, we get that icon player pick coming back here soon and more footies SBCs. Fodder to me looks really, really good. Now there's two spots on fodder that I like the, I like the most. Now we already looked at the 88s, right? 88s we shouted in yesterday's video. They did very good. Up 5k a card from, come on man, 11k to 15k. Like, or I guess that's more like 4k a card. Maybe they're a little higher right at the peak of the SBC dropping. That's insane for a one day fluctuation. Guys, I like 88s again. I really do because this 93 plus tots or shapeshifters pack, the requirements inside of it are an 87 and an 89 rated squad. So I like the 88s for that reason. I also like some of the higher tier cards, maybe a little more risky here, but 91s, 92s, 92 like Javi Galan, Sissoko. I know they're getting packed every single day, but if you go and take a look at the top solutions inside of Footbin for this 93 plus Tots or Shapeshifter player pick that basically a lot of people are going to want to do today. Um, there's a lot of 91, 92 rated players in that 89 rated squad requirement. And what they fill up the rest of the team with is the other part of the fodder market that I like it is investment. 85s. Guys, I really like 85s and maybe 86s as well since they're pretty close in price. And I would even loop 84s into that. 84s have already started to go up just a smidge. And then 85s yesterday, I mean, 4.9k, 5,000 5, coins for 85s, I think is awesome. I mean, Friday, these guys were about 4.9k. They went up to about 5.3. And look at what happened yesterday. The icon uh, pick came out. These guys went to 6,000 coins. Now they're back down to 5k. And what do we know? Right now, everybody is packing all of these Centurions, Winter Wild Cards, all of these fodder cards. We have fodder that's middle to high rated, maybe even 88s and 89s from these same promos as well. Um, like, you know, it's the lower tier cards that we need to fill out the rest of these squads. So I would also loop 83s in there, but 83s are already starting to go up a thousand coins a piece um, for the specifically the footies player pick. These are probably going to go up more this week because everybody's going to want to do that player pick on repeat. And again, yes, we're going to get an 80 plus player pick SBC tomorrow on Monday, but I would still say 83s, 84s, 85s, maybe 86s. And then, you know, your 88s. I just think fodder with the supply is going to end up rising this week. Now, it's going to depend on what SBCs we specifically get as to which, what part of the fodder market, what rating is going to rise the most. But I think if you cover your bases and do a club stock, if you have uh, aspirations of doing more player SBCs or the 93 plus shapeshifter player pick or 
the 90 plus icon pack when it comes back i think fodder is a really really good club stock right now and i think the sell time would probably be later on throughout the week we're talking a tuesday maybe a wednesday sort of time frame maybe even thursday um just because that's usually when you see the peak of the demand and also a little bit lack of a supply so you see prices rising throughout the week so might be a good idea to club stocks and fodder this week again just because the tradable supply from the market is going to be ending now a little bit more that was a long rant about SBC fodder right let's talk about some other content today on sunday for you guys that like to grind the menus hidden in the footies week one xp objective you might see oh how do i get to these mixed league upgrades and premium mixed league upgrades well technically those two SBCs are in the game right now i believe but the ones that we have at the moment are going to be expiring and new ones are going to be coming back out you can see premium mixed league upgrade going to be expiring today new ones going to be coming out i don't know if it's the exact same sbc refreshed or if they'll change up some of the requirements inside here but some of you guys that like the league sbc kind of bronze silver gold grind that's going to be coming back today and i mean i mean everybody's going to at least do it once right because we have to get that xp we have to keep leveling up in the season progress and that is content that ea have said is going to be coming out today so watch out for that other questions i have will there be a mini release um ea's website says nothing about a mini release for footies i can't imagine with such a small promo team that if there's going to be a mini release that it would be too many players maybe one or two and if there is going to be i would probably imagine a couple uh or at least a leak uh of, of known who's going to be in that mini release since we did of course have the players leaked in the main squad look at Di maria man legit only one page of cards on this entire market this is crazy this is just crazy for the end of the year and for this time of the year um so yeah guys that's continuing uh the trend on the market as well with the other out of pack special cards staying up in price the ones that are in packs you know what let's use slaton centurions as a barometer for a card that in his price movements throughout the week okay zlatan's down a bit so zlatan was in packs of course or is in packs right now for the batch one if you're wanting to buy a card that is re-released in packs maybe it's the zlatan maybe it's team of the year hullet or team of the year dino one of those top tier icons one of the best cards in packs right now if you're wanting to buy one of them yes their price ha has been dropping dino is six million coins flat right now according to flipping and right there on the game i think hullet's like three mil or something like that um guys just be careful with these because uh they're in packs for two weeks so if you're gonna buy one of these i would try it out and i would probably not hold on to it for more than a couple of days because it's probably going to keep dropping off as the supply keeps coming in for the next 12 days that all of these cards are in packs so big sbc day today hopefully ea drop a player sbc and keep that train rolling um watch out for leaks today on sunday for any other information that we might have that is coming up that is new and maybe get some fodder club stocked to get yourself ready for sbcs coming this week of course good luck on your weekly games good luck on any rewards that you may be opening and uh man hopefully ea keep turning it up with footies team one keep turning up the heat ea bring us a big hero footies SBC player uh maybe later on this week right Allo, voller we already mentioned some don't put those guys in packs I wouldn't be mad if there were no footies cards in packs but it says team one so that 99 Messi we hope for is probably going to be in team two right probably with like Ginola or Allo Wayren or voller but we'll have our hopes alive for some more of those SBCs that's gonna be the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been Nate the foot account and I will see you guys here soon peace out <laughs>